for lights and lifts, really. It's a it's a long day. Pace yourself accordingly, but you never know. Maybe this is how she trains. Brings that intensity. That looked very comfortable. She took the silver at the Europeans. Oh. Seven and a half kilo jump, and you know what? Looks like she's ramped it up from the first. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she uh, keeps something in reserve for a third. This is true. You know, adrenaline is the best pre-workout you can have. And that's why you'll see some of these lifters smacking their thighs, getting the adrenaline pumping. Nice. Very nice. You know it's good when they start smiling. Already, what's she going to bring to a third? Yeah, fired up again, isn't she, Joe? She's really bringing it to this lift. And the crowd is loving it and yelling back, digging her heels in. Well, it's great to see. We have so many calm lifters. It's not as entertaining as someone who brings this much energy. She's got 130 kilos on the bar. Oh, she's a fighter, too. Oh, wow. Nicely done. So here is Karin Angelini. She brought so much fire to the squat. Absolutely ground out that third one. You know what? She's a lot more conservative in terms of expending energy here on the bench press. And maybe that's all part of it. Maybe she's like, look, I go all out for squats. Um, hold pace for bench, but don't go all out. And then on the deadlifts, you know she's going to be fired up. That makes a lot of sense. And it's a, it's a technical lift bench, isn't it? If you're too fired up, you, you're going to make a mess of it. Of the three lifts, it's the only lift with three commands. I don't think I've seen her on the platform before. Um, I'm loving her energy, though. Yeah, and, and you know, we were talking about pacing in the squats. Looks like she's pacing herself well on the bench press. Just kind of hold serve here. Collect some kilos. As our handler recognized that gentleman, a, a competitor himself. Angelini. It took a little while to get the start command because she had her butt in the air. A bit of work there as well. My first time seeing her lift, she, she won the Euros, so I wasn't at that competition. So she's uh, she does have experience. A stark contrast from the squats. She's calm, cool, and collected here. Yeah. I'm expecting the deadlifts, though. We're going to see the same fiery <laughs> I hope so. setups. What a battle. That was a great one. She's uh, just <laughs> I think she's going to be similar intensity to squats. If I'm she is <laughs> six for six. What can she do on deads? It does make sense, though. She wasn't going to keep that intensity that she had in squats all the way through. Sure. Quite a narrow sumo stance. Semi sumo, maybe. But that Sem was easy. Semi sumo. And it was easy. I got to agree. Being so we've got Karen Angelini from Italy for 140. Gone up seven and a half. It's a break, but it accelerates all the way to lockout. Yeah, that's the way she pulled. Early. We still have three lifters to go after her, but you're right. If temporarily in a deadlift bronze position, 10 kilo jump, it's sizable. The 140 moved rather well. And there's the intensity we're looking for, Joe. Semi sumo style. Oh, moving. And oh, she's wow. got it. Oh, wow. 
Yeah! Fantastic. She has got her 